Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and I would like to welcome you to this online review session for our Constitution and Government essay. Um, many of you did not do particularly well when we first prepared for this essay and took the exam, so this is a review session to help you to be more successful the next time you take it. Um, just a reminder, the essay prompt is compare and contrast the Virginia plan and the New Jersey plan, who favored each plan, what was each plan about, how was the issue of representation in the legislative branch of government finally resolved, what was that resolution called, how did the compromise lead to the three branches of government we currently have, and what is your opinion of this resolution. Uh, that's a lot to unpack. Uh, it is a minimum of three paragraphs with a fourth paragraph having to do with your opinion. Um, so I'm going to talk you through the three paragraphs that have uh, meat and substance to them, so to speak. And of course, the opinion paragraph, uh, you're going to have to write yourself because I cannot tell you what your opinion is. So, our first paragraph in this essay is going to be about the Virginia plan. And these are the facts that must be in that paragraph. First of all, you need to say that the Virginia plan was proposed by James Madison, and it was also known as the Big State Plan. Uh, you need to know that it proposed a two-house legislature, and the word we use for two houses is bicameral. Um, and both of those houses would be based on a state's population. In other words, the more people you get, the more people you have in your state, the more representatives you would get in the new legislative branch of government. Virginia was a big state. It was to Virginia's advantage to get a lot of representation in the new legislative branch because then they would have more influence on making laws. Uh, the Virginia plan also proposed a single powerful executive and it proposed a national court system. Um, so the Virginia plan was a stronger government that favored larger states. If you have all of these bullet points in your first paragraph, you are going to be in good shape. Second paragraph is going to have to do with the New Jersey plan. Uh, you are gonna to want to note that the New Jersey plan was proposed by William Patterson and was known as the small state plan. Uh, at that time, New Jersey was a small state. Uh, you're also going to state that this proposed a one house legislature, and the word we use for that is unicameral. Unicameral means one house. Uh, each state would get the same number of representatives. So I didn't say how many representatives that would be, but however many representatives Rhode Island got would be the same number of representatives that Virginia got. So it was not based or linked to a state's population. And the New Jersey plan would occur in that it did propose that there would be people in the executive and not just one. They did not trust one person to handle executive authority. They wanted to divide it up among at least three people. So from that point of view, this would be a weaker government plan than the Virginia plan. And the one similarity, Venn diagram style, between the New Jersey plan and the Virginia plan is that the New Jersey plan did propose that there be a national court system. So that is the one similarity. The third paragraph should be about the compromise that essentially blended these plans together and helped the constitutional convention to move forward with everyone feeling like they got something that they wanted. The uh, Great Compromise is also known as the Sherman Compromise, uh, sometimes known as the Kinetic Compromise because it was proposed by Roger Sherman of Connecticut. Mostly it's known as the Great Compromise, but if you ever hear a reference to the Sherman Compromise or the Kinetic Comp Connecticut Compromise, they are referring to the same thing. Uh, it did create a bicameral to how legislative. So in that case, it was more similar to the Virginia plan. Uh, the House of Representatives, which was one of the two houses, was based on a state's population. So the House of Representatives was similar to the Virginia plan. It also created a Senate, and they got that term by borrowing it from the Roman Empire. They created a Senate that would be based on equality. Each state would get two senators, no matter how many people lived there. So the Senate was similar to the New Jersey plan. Uh, then there's the issue of slavery. Um, the southern states, like Virginia, want slaves to count 
uh, as though they were citizens and as though they were full people because that would have given them more representation in the representatives. The northern states did not want slaves to count at all because they didn't feel like they were given citizenship rights, so why should they um, you know, help the northern states get more representation? So they finally settled on counting three out of every five slaves or more awkwardly counting slaves as three-fifths of a person. The compromise that made that work. Uh, they did decide on one single executive, and we now have the president, but they also decided to create a vice president. So in that sense, there are two executives that really, there's only one because president's the one with real power. And because the whole fans agreed, uh, agreed to create a fourth system. So, if you have those things in your first three paragraphs, you're good. Remember, you also do address an opinion at the end. Do you think the great compromise was a good thing, a bad thing, and give one of the reasons why you think it was a good thing or a bad thing, and you will be in good shape. Hopefully this helps you prepare for reading.